about Junior Eurovision. Together with my friends, I'm going to tell you about all the bright impressions got from the Junior Eurovision 2011. Now my friends are waiting for us impatiently. Let's see what they are telling. Hello, Talik! Now it's your turn to tell us about your bright impressions that you got from the Junior Eurovision 2011. Hello, Armenia! Hello, Europe! Hello, Annie as well! As you see next to me is a huge group of fans that on the 3rd of December Right in front of the stage, we're following the performances of the participants of the Junior Eurovision 2011, inspiring them, and why not, also voting for their favorite songs. Today we're here in order to share with you our bright impressions and tell you about the wonderful time we spent. It was a huge celebration. Now let's see what impressions my friends got from the show. Hello guys, my name is Vartkes. I was really amazed with the Junior Eurovision Song Contest 2011. First of all, it was a huge celebration for all of us, including a lot of new acquaintances and moments full of pleasing surprises. I'm Anna. The firework after the show was very impressive. On that day, I called Yerevan the city with colorful sky. I was present during the show and I should say it was a real pleasure. Hi, I am Taguhi. I was impressed with not only the show but also the whole Hero Week with all rehearsals and parties. I saw excitement everywhere and wishing good luck to participants and having good time with them was really amazing. Hi, I am Arevik. Besides the impression from the show, I got many new friends I'm having fun with up to now. Friends with whom I'm going towards Junior Eurovision many more times. Hi friends, I am Masia. Of course, Junior Eurovision was a big holiday for me, where I had a chance to live a Eurovision life for a few days, enjoying the presence of the participants. Hello guys, I'm Maria. I can't express my emotions which I had during the show sitting in the first row. Being a witness of such a fairy tale is a really amazing feeling. Hello everyone, I'm Knarik. What amazing days I have spent during Junior Eurovision. New friends, new connections, new dreams. It was really fascinating. I will remember those days till the end of time. Hi friends, I'm Anush. I was watching the show, sitting on the very first row, and it was great. Both the lights and techniques were great. It was frightening when the huge camera was flying overhead, but anyway, it was a real dream. Hello everyone over there, I'm Lara. So many new people, so many Europeans and just people who love Eurovision. Armenia had never seen so many Eurovision fans in one place. Yerevan turned into a jazz capital for a week. Wish you all had been here. Hi Europe, I'm Garik. I was astonished by the splendor of Junior Eurovision. I'm very happy that Georgia reached for the top. And of course, I'm waiting for a great show from the Netherlands. Armenia proved that it could be a great host of the show for children, sharing love and peace all over Europe. What could be better than that? Nothing. Indeed, we love Junior Eurovision and his big brother, we love Europe! Woo! So guys, with such bright and touching impressions, I'm passing the term to my friend Andronik, who was one of the hosts of the show about the Junior Eurovision 2011 in Armenia, Yerevan. Hello, Andronik! Thank you, Talik. Hi, guys. As you remember, Georgia took the first place in Yerevan, but the right to us the Junior Eurovision 2012 has the Netherlands. European Broadcasting Union has approved the Junior Eurovision 2012 will take place on the 1st of December at the HMH concert venue. Now we shall see how our friends from the Netherlands are preparing for this great event. It is time to get in touch with them. Hello, the Netherlands! This year I'm calling! Many years ago, back in 2003, the first Junior Eurovision Song Contest ever was held in the 5th of November in Copenhagen, Denmark. Give a big shout out for Dino from Croatia. The Netherlands organized it once before in 2007. This year we have the honor to be the host of this amazing event for the 10th edition of the Junior Eurovision. It will be held on the 1st of December in the Heineken Musical in Amsterdam and we'd like to welcome you with this video. 
Junior Eurovision fans, my name is Julie, and together with Mark and Isona, we will present to you Amsterdam. So, I am Mark, and Junior Eurovision fan, just like the other two girls, and now we are ready to introduce your, our city, right, Isona? Yes, let's go! First, we will start with the venue Amsterdam Heineken Musical. This arena was opened in 2001. The most performances are in the hall called Black Box. The Black Box is 3,000 square meters and has a capacity of 5,500 persons and it has the best acoustic in the whole world. It's designed by Fritz van Dongen and gets sponsored by Heineken, which is a famous beer mark. The location offers every year around 600 visitors for an unforgettable night out. The Heineken Musical doesn't ask for money for toilets and cutthroat. All the money that the people will donate will go to Dance for Life, which is a foundation to help people in third world countries fight against AIDS. Now you know the Heineken Musical because the Junior Eurovision stars will perform here in December. But there were also other artists too who have performed here, like Nicki Minaj. I am Nicki Minaj, I'm Mac Dooza, that coops up and chuck the dooza. and Lady Gaga. Now you know more about what happened here. We will tell you more about people from the Netherlands. We had a lot of famous people right here in the Netherlands. One you might know is Rembrandt van Rijn and he was born in Amsterdam. He was a famous painter in the 17th century and he made around 300 paintings and 2,000 drawings. His works are worth many millions and you can find them in museum all over the world. His most famous work is the Nachtwacht and you can find it here in Amsterdam at the Rijksmuseum. Another famous person from Amsterdam is Johan Cruyff. He is born on 25 of April 1947 and is known as the best soccer player of the 20th century. With his team he won three times the Champions Cup of Europe and once of the world. Now he is still active as a coach. Now we are standing in front of the Anne Frank house. This is the place where she was hiding during World War II. Anne Frank is actually from Germany. In the 30s she moved to Amsterdam. Emma Frank is well known for her diary that she wrote in World War II. Another Dutch person, I know that you know him, is Rolf Mackenbach. Rolf was born in Pest on October 4th in 1995. He won the 7th Junior Eurovision Song Contest in Kiev, Ukraine. This was the first victory for the Netherlands and Rolf reached a total of 121 points and he's still active as dancer, singer and actor. Wooden shoes and tulips. 
but a country has more to offer, for example our famous sheets and a lot of other things. The country counts more bikes than people and we have a total around 15,000 kilometers on cycling roads. Amsterdam is well known for its unique canals. There are four main canals which constitute a ring. In Amsterdam a lot of houses were built next to the canals. They were built in the golden century. At the time they were built for a soaring trading stock. The canal houses are large and they look all different. I'm sure you all know about Santa Claus. It's actually made of a Dutch export product, Sinterklaas. Years ago, he came with Dutch immigrants to America and they changed it into what he is now. We celebrated Sinterklaas on the 5th of December. A quarter of our country lays below the sea level. Even that our flag is red, white, blue, our natural color is orange. Another name for the Netherlands is Holland. And to them have 1281 bridges. Dutch people are one of the longest of the world. Ik ben een teenager, ik doe wat ik wil, mijn klaagje niet meer stil. Now you know a little more about our tiny country. We hope you enjoy it and we'd like to see you back on the 1st of December in Amsterdam. Thank you the Netherlands for such an amazing video. Here is the life of the fans of Junior Eurovision. That every year are waiting for the winter to come in order to watch this great show again and again. We wish good luck to the participants from Armenia and do expect him or her to come back with the victory again. Here they are, Armenian Junior Eurovision fans. Europe! See you on the 1st of December! We are the Eurovision fans, yeah, yeah, yeah. Eurovision fans, yeah, yeah, yeah. We best friends.